high. In the package chaser, we will configure number standard IPv4 ACLs. On the first part, we will plan an ACL implementation and on the second part, we will configure, apply and verify a standard ACL. As you know, an ACLs are router configuration scripts that control whether a router permits or denies packets based on the source address. And now we will plan an ACL implementation. Firstly, we will investigate the current network configuration. We have three routers, one, two, and three, and the LAN on each router. And now we can ping from PC1 to the web server. Uh, the second one is successful. And ping from PC1 to PC3. One to three, so it's successful. So every device on the topology can communicate to each other. On step two, we will evaluate two network policies and plan ACL implementation. The first network policy is the one two nine one six eight eleven. And zero sub twenty four, I call it the eleven network, is not allowed to access to the web server on the twenty network. Now it means the PC two uh, network cannot communicate with the web server on the twenty network here, and all other access is permitted. So to restrict access from 11 network to the web server at the 20 network without interfering with other traffic. So we should create an ACL on router 2. That is the router nearest the destination and we should apply that accelerate to the gigabit Ethernet on the outbound interface. And the second rule is to permit on other traffic. And the next network policy, the 10 network is not allowed to communicate with the 30 network. It means the PC1 is not allowed to uh, communicate with the devices on the PC3 network here. And all other assets is permitted. So to restrict asset from the 10 network to the 30 network without interfering with other traffic. So we should create an asset on router 3 that is near the destination, nearest the destination, and we should apply that asset on the outgoing of the gigabit Ethernet here. And now we will move on to part two: configure, apply, and verify a standard ACL. Uh, Firstly, we will configure and apply a number standard ACL on router two. And we create an asset with the ID of 1 from 1 to uh, 99 will be the standard asset. And we deny the packet from the source network 11 network with the white card mask. And all other traffic will be permit, permit any. 
So after creating the isolate, we can verify by using do so isolate. And here we have the isolate one with the two rules. The first one is deny from the 11 network. And then the second rule will permit any. And now we will apply this isolate to the outbound interface. Uh, on the here the gigabit zero 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 or we can show to show IP in the file brief this interface is up okay now we'll Enter the interface gigabit zero zero zero. Zero zero. And IP asset group one out direction. To verify our uh, asset list that it's already apply on this interface we can use the command do show run and begin gigabit zero set zero or or, the, or we can use the do show run Yeah, interface gigabit Ethernet, yeah. and we have the access group one in the out uh, direction. Okay, next we will configure and apply a number standard ACL on router three. Uh, so we do the same steps, and here's the direction. So I think it's your job to. Uh, Enter the commands following the this instruction. Next, we will verify the ACL configuration. Now on PC one, we ping to the web server. PC one successful. And ping from PC2 to the web server, so it's failed. PC2 to the web server is failed. And you can test with the ping from PC1 to PC3 after creating the ACL and apply it on the outgoing uh, gigabit interface port. So that is all for this activity. Thanks for watching.